quite busy up there. It's so busy and everyone's looking out for the condors. Don't know if we'll see one. I guess you just stand here and wait and look. Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I am currently backpacking in Peru. And yesterday I arrived in the town of Arequipe and today I am going to be doing the famous Colca Canyon trek. I've booked myself onto a two day, one night trek and we set off so early this morning. The bus picked us up from Salina Hostel, which is where I booked it at 3 a.m., which was tough. We've been on the bus for about four hours traveling to the town of Chive where we had breakfast and then it's been a further hour we are now <laughs> coming <laughs> So from Chive, we traveled one more hour to the Mirador of the Condors, which was very, very busy and touristy, but we did not see any condors. Not that I'm surprised. And now we are on the bus again to the start point of the trek. So basically how this is going to work is we are going to be dropped at the top of the canyon. Day one today, just got a map. We're going to trek four hours down into the canyon. Then we're going to have lunch. We're going to trek three hours across the canyon. Then we are going to sleep there for the night. There's apparently a pool, an oasis. And then tomorrow morning, we're getting up very early, about 5 a.m. And we are going to be walking all the way back up the canyon, which is apparently very, very difficult. But we're up for the challenge. Uh, and that's the plan. So what's this? Cabana Conde? Co Do we follow Michael Jackson? Well, you're me, Instructions unclear, but hopefully there's a place here where we can get some snacks, some water, and go to the loo. As you can see, I've stripped down to shorts and t-shirt. Apparently it's gonna be up to 35 degrees today, which is outrageous because it was about three degrees when we left the hostel this morning. So I've really, really stripped down. I've just bought a banana and a packet of Ritz, which will hopefully see me through to lunchtime because I do think this is a four hour hike and I'm already feeling a little bit peckish because the breakfast was very small. We've just put a load of sun cream on, bug spray, and I think we're ready to go. Sleepy. A little sleepy. But 300%. Yes. 100%. Muy bien. Eh, estamos, we are trying to make, you know, two groups because, you know, it's to manage much better with my partner, Evelyn, is the second guide. <laughs> Esto es un poco difícil. Sí, Fácil, la altura. No es. La altura no es. Ahora son tres horas abajo. La rodilla. So this is where we're going down? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Down there. El oasis. Ahí vamos a llegar, okay? We're going to sleep there. Can you see? Can you see the pool? Yeah. The blue one. Yeah. It's yeah. very yeah. small in the distance. Resume. It's very dry and it's actually quite dusty, so I feel like I'm getting like dust in between my shoes. But so far so good. You just have to really watch your footing because it is quite rocky and you don't want to go over on an ankle. But we've been going for about an hour and a quarter at this point and uh, still going very strong. A little bit sweaty. Getting closer. Oh, there's the bridge. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh we did it. Oh, we made it to the bridge. Yes! Work. Good work! So this means we have reached the bottom of the canyon, we have reached the river, and it's taken us two hours and five minutes to get to this point. I've burnt 491 calories so far, nice, nice. Um, and it's 7.32 kilometers of literally just pure downhill. And this is what the beautiful bridge looks like. But we haven't made it to our lunch spot just yet. Um, I think it's up a little bit and back a little bit. So, I don't know, maybe another half an hour to the lunch spot? I'm hungry. I have to have some of those rich snacks that I bought.
So for lunch, we've got some of some guacamole and it's some of the local avocado that's just growing on the trees. Like when you, you're just walking past the avo trees. Next up we have soup. I didn't think that was enough. Uh, we now have our, our main course, <laughs> which is rice, some what looks like beef, chips, onions, avocado, of course, and some tomato. They leave the little hand in so you can hold on. Is it? Yeah, it's alpaca. Oh, I think this might be my first time trying alpaca. When in Peru. Enjoy. Thank you. So to get to the lunch place, it took us two hours and 40 minutes, not including our stops, and it was 8.78 kilometers, which is really decent. Um, but now we have another two to three hours of hiking to actually get to the oasis and where we're gonna be staying for the night. So I'm gonna set off a new workout for that and see how far we go. De esta planta? Cochinilla. Oh, gracias. <laughs> es un eh, hongo. <laughs> es hongo. And this is what they use to make yeah, lipstick and things uh -huh. and makeup, but it's very expensive, so a lot of companies yeah. will just use chemicals yeah. instead. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. <I> <laughs> you look great. Thanks so much, so do you. <laughs> I feel like she messed up a little bit on the chin. But <laughs> it's alright, it's all part of the look. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rosie. Where are you going? I feel like the canyon's opened out a bit. We've been going since lunch for 71 minutes and we've actually done over 200 meters of elevation gain, which is more than I thought. I thought this was gonna be quite a flat walk, but it's kind of like up, down, flat, up, down, flat, but it's good. It's really enjoyable. And also because we're at a lower altitude than I've been anywhere previously on this trip, I actually feel like I can do it all right and I can breathe, which is really quite nice. Sun's kind of gone down, which means that the cap's gone backwards. Gangster Christie in the house. And look at this. I don't know how well the GoPro is going to show this, but we've got waterfalls coming down into the river. So pretty. Keep heading down, 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 down. Guys, we did it. We made it to the oasis. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Woohoo! Now let's dive in. Oh, before we do, let me just tell you about the stop. One hour 55, not including our stops. Uh, 5.89 kilometers and 253 meters of elevation gain since lunch. Yo! Good job. Gracias. We made it. We made it. Woo! Ooh. Woo! 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 <laughs> Ah, oh, glorious. Here's our little sleeping quarters. Okay, for the ladies. For the ladies? Oh, okay. single ladies. Oh, the single Show ladies. Show us the way, Molly. Home. Oh, that's cute. This is sweet. Oh, really sweet. Muy perfecto. Muy perfecto. I'm going to take this one. Sorry, but I would just like to draw your attention to my feet. Oh. That's not tan, that, that's a dirt line. Good morning, it's 4.30 in the morning and we all feel disgusting. I didn't film dinner last night, but that was very, very nice. And we just slept in our cabins literally from like 9 a.m. So to be fair, we probably got like six hours sleep, which doesn't actually sound too bad, but I feel very, very, very groggy this morning. 
and we are setting off at 4.30 in order to quite literally just climb directly uphill outside of this canyon. I think we're going to ascent about 1,200 meters, attempting to do it in like three to four hours. I don't know if that's possible, but we're definitely going to give it a go. Here's everyone is just getting their things together. We are gathering before that we are leaving. To be fair, we haven't had to wear our headlamps for that long, only 15 to 20 minutes, because now the sun is starting to rise, which is quite nice. So it doesn't actually feel like you're hiking in the dark for too long at all. We've done 150 meters of elevation in 25 minutes. Chrissy's leading the group. Woo! Good job, Chrissy. <laughs> So our guide has basically said that she'll stay at the back so that we can go at whatever pace we want and that she'll meet us at the top. We've still got a long way to go though. We've done almost 300 meters of elevation. So we made it to 500 meters of elevation in one hour and 20 minutes, which is pretty good going. And what I'm thinking is that if we double this, then we only have 300 meters to go afterwards, which actually sounds all right, kind of. What I have noticed is that they've been a little bit strategic about this, or maybe they haven't and it's just a coincidence, but the sun is clearly rising like over the mountain that we are, over, sorry, over the canyon wall that we are climbing, which means that the sun is rising over there. So thank God we're not like walking up on that side because otherwise we'd already be in the sun. Whereas because of where the sun is, it looks like we'll be in the shade for a fair bit longer, which is glorious. We'll take the shade for as long as we can oh get. <laughs> Just go by themselves. Here they are, the donkeys. We did have the option to get donkeys if you want. I think it's like 20 solas. Yeah. Hola. 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 Oh, 70 solas? 70 solas, sorry. Which kind of now wishing that we spent. Oh yeah, that was free. Just <laughs> hop on, hop on. Hola. Hola. Hey. Hola. They were in our group. <laughs> they made the smart decision. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> kicked up a lot of dust. By the way, whilst we've got you, we've done 664 meters of elevation in one hour and 50 minutes. So it's, it's 6 30 in the morning. So we could be wrong, and to be honest, we probably are. But we think where that tree is might be the top. What do you reckon? Doug reckons that's the top, where the tree is. Funny. Which which doesn't seem too far. But I don't want to get my hopes up, because if I get my hopes up, then I'll be heavily disappointed. Right, we're on 810 meters, and I know you're not going to believe me, but we did just see a condor. I just didn't catch it on camera, but I saw it. I promise. Oh, Good to do it again. <laughs> Woo! How you doing, Molly? Surviving. <laughs> surviving. <laughs> oh my goodness, so it's 7 06 a.m. We've done 877 meters in elevation. And the sun is there. So that means this cap is going this way. Okay, perfect. Oh, Christian is significantly hotter in the sun. <laughs> oh. This is it. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> Euphoria! Uh, we did it! Woo! Woo! Good job! Nice! Smashed it! Oh. Okay, we do have to walk along a little bit of a flat, but we made it to the top bit. And actually, 985 meters of elevation. We were told a lot more, so that actually, that was quite nice. Um, that took us two hours and 44 minutes from the bottom. In distance, 5.9 kilometers. I'm not gonna stop the Apple Watch just yet because we do have to walk along a little bit of a flat, but holy moly, that was good. And we did literally the majority of it in shade, which was glorious, otherwise I think we would have died. <laughs> Hey, how are you doing? Lunch spot. I'm gonna end the workout here. So I'm gonna put the stats of the entire hike, including that last little flat bit here. But we feel good. And we're now in Casa de Santiago, which is a little restaurant in Cabana Condo. Don't know where we are. Um, we're gonna have some breakfast. <laughs> Hi 
Hi. Uh, el nombre es qué? Sancayo. Sancayo. It looks San like a kiwi, it looks but, like it, kiwi, but it's oh, not kiwi. Looks like kiwi, but not kiwi. Yes. Okay. And you like it? Yes. I, oh, I love it. She's ready to work. Mm. Sancayo. Déjame ir por acá. Oh. That is very sour. Oh. Good. Nice though. Almost like a. Is it Haribo sours? No. What's Haribo tang fastics? That's what this fruit tastes like. And here we have an absolutely beautiful view of the Colca Valley. Gorgeous. It seems like the weather's great here all the time. Or maybe we're just lucky. <laughs> so our, our first stop before lunch is. Oh, our last stop before lunch is the hot springs. It costs 15 solas to get in, which is like three or four pounds, which is fine. And we're just going to head over the bridge over there. So this one's a little bit warmer. I think it's like 38. 38. 38. Something like that. Oh. What? Degree pool. That's that's not okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. How is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, hello, nice to meet you. El Blanco. Plastic. How pretty is this scarf? Plastic. Scarf in no plastic, no necesario. Y es 30 soles. I'm gonna get this. I mean, she could be having me on, but as far as I'm aware, what she told me is she handmade this scarf for 30 soles. I think that's very good, it's so cozy. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day in Arequipa and I am just off to get myself a little coffee. My calves are feeling so, so stiff from the hike yesterday. And yesterday evening, I went out for dinner with Molly um, from the hiking tour. Uh, we went to a place called El Buda Profano, which is a vegan sushi place in Arequipa. It was actually pretty good. I'm not vegan, but I do actually like to try out vegan restaurants because I find that they're normally more experimental with like different veggie foods and flavors uh, so yeah that's the update i am leaving arakipa today very very sadly because i'm really really enjoying my time here if i'm completely honest it's a gorgeous little city which has a lot of character and in hindsight i would have spent less time in puno more time in arakipa however unfortunately because of my trek i've already booked my accommodation in cusco so I can't really change that. So I do have to head off to Cusco this evening on a night bus, um, but such is life. Maybe, I'm actually already thinking this, maybe after Cusco, I'll actually come back to Arequipa and spend a few weeks here and just kind of live here for a bit because I think it's a really cool city, but we'll see. But anyway, right now I'm off to get coffee. This place was recommended on Google Cafe House. So I thought I'd give it a go. Cafe House actually have their very own coffee blend, which is 70% Arabica and 30% Rustico. Whatever that means. <laughs> Do you stir it with a piece of spaghetti? Okay, well I'm down. And it's 100% Peruvian, 100% Peruvian coffee, which I don't believe I have had yet. Yeah, I like it. It's good. <laughs> Molly has signed up to this chocolate making class in Arequipa, which is on in like five minutes at Choc Chow or Chak Chow. And she asked if I wanted to join, so I was like, why not? So before I leave Arequipa, I'm gonna do a little chocolate making class. It's not down this road, it's down the next road. I think I must be close. 
I'm just looking at all of these buildings. Maybe, is this it? Looks kind of, I don't know. Actually no walk into, La I just got a text from Molly, walk into Las Gringas and then take the stairs up. Well, that's come at a good time. Oh, here we go, here we go. Chow, chow. Thank God she texted me, otherwise I would have been walking around like a lost little puppy. Oh yeah. That smells like chocolate. That does smell like chocolate. Rico como chocolate. Sugar. These are minimum components. Cacao mass in a milk chocolate, we need at least 25%. 10% here. Milk in a milk chocolate. Yes, we have milk. 14%. At least. And the rest is sugar. And for the controversial, why so controversial? Cacao mass in a white chocolate, we don't have it. Oh. Cacao butter, but we'll need more cacao butter for this. Oh. Between 20% up to 86%. Oh. Oh. 14% as a minimum oh. of milk, and the rest oh. is sugar. This is a real dark, a real milk, and a real white. Just grind it. Go. Oh, that's a lot of hunger, yes. <laughs> no. This is called the molinillo. molinillo. The molinillo is how women of the Aztecs used to stir their drinks and punish their husbands too. Yes. Their agarres. <laughs> and we use this to stir the drink. Like this. Oh, that. Do you have to be quick or like... Doesn't matter. You're steering, just steering. Okay. We don't need to apply that much strain. Not this big up where it's at. Smells good. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Tell me when so, you feel ready. Here we're going to be making our chocolates, and we can decide what we would like inside. So there's like, so some of the coca leaf, the spicy stuff, sea salt, coffee, cacao nibs, almonds, peanuts, quinoa, where they chia, seeds, coconut, raisins, sure. and banana. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. It consists in, so what are we going to do? We'll spread the chocolate here. Yeah. We try not to leave any. <laughs> Need more? So I'm going for all milk chocolate, mainly more just dark? because I'm not really a big fan of dark chocolate, but you can do dark or milk. Force it in. Coca. We have two cucumbers for the cha cha and picha. Picha. Okay. Now picha. Picha. So now we're doing a taste test, and we have to figure out one if it's real or fake chocolate, and two like basically what these percentages are. So I lost the chocolate Molly tasting. Green. I can't say I'm surprised. I had no freaking clue. Right. I'm Molly Wan. She's got a free Pisco sour. <laughs> oh. And now we're going to taste those chocolates that we yes, made downstairs. Inside. Oh. Yes. Fast it. Oh. Chill yeah. out. You said fast. <laughs> fast, but no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I lost one of them. No, it's right here. But yes. If I'm you get that, I will beat this one. Out, if they are a little bit sick. Oh, no chocolate! Wow! Oh my goodness, this one looks like it's got like moss on it. Really the the oh, cocoa ones. Yeah! Did you do any? I did one. Oh, yes, if you you can eat that rest of it. If you clean the, those up, you can eat that. But you're taking with you today. The your, oh. Thank you for coming here. Oh. Oh.
So that chocolate making class cost 70 soles and I would highly recommend it. I actually had three hours long, definitely worth the money and we got to come away with our little bag of chocolates. So yeah, that was a really, really cool little thing to do in Arequipa. And you can um, ask for either a Spanish speaking instructor, instructor, guide, class, teacher, whatever, um, or an English speaking one, which is quite nice. As for a little overview of the Colca Canyon Trek, so I don't know if I mentioned, I booked that at the travel agency in Selina. Um, it cost 220 soles for the two day, one night excursion, which included everything um, like your guide, uh, your one night accommodation, the trekking to the oasis, um, the food, everything like that. The only things it didn't include were entrance to the actual Colca Canyon, which you have to pay separately, which is 70 soles. So you gotta make sure you have that in cash and also entrance into the hot Springs. Obviously they drop you at the hot spring. It's optional as to whether you actually go in or not, but it's only 15 solids, so it's pretty affordable. So that was how much that entire trip costed. I believe you can do a little bit of shopping around with that Colca Canyon tour around town, but to be honest, I think they're all pretty similar prices. You can also do the Colca Canyon trek as a three day, two night trek, um, but it's not as popular because it's basically the same trek, but just broken up into shorter segments. And so a lot of people just don't feel the need to stay another night in the canyon, but that is an option if you are thinking about it. In Arequipa, I've been staying in Selena, which I would highly recommend. I just always love a Selena hostel. I feel so comfortable in them. The Wi-Fi is always so good. The beds are always so comfy. Yes, they are on the higher end um, of the price spectrum when it comes to hostels, but personally, I think it's worth the extra money. And the one in Arequipa was absolutely beautiful. It even had a pool and just the hangouts area were absolutely stunning. They had a bar. Yeah, it was really, really good. And it's in a pretty good location as well everything in the center is walkable. But that is the end of this Arequipa vlog, if I'm completely honest. I wish I had longer in Arequipa, but I have already booked my accommodation in Cusco, so I'm having to go there. Not that I'm mad about that because I'm so excited to go to Cusco, but I've really liked Arequipa way more than I was kind of expecting to, and in hindsight, I would have spent less time in Puno and more time in Arequipa. But we live and we learn. Maybe, maybe I can return to Arequipa at some point. But for now, it's gonna be next stop Cusco. So this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.